people should care about the truth because the truth is the truth about how things are. And it's important for us to recognize how things are, not to pretend that it's something else. If you have the truth, you know what reality is like. If you don't, you're ignorant of reality. There's a lot of activity in which the truth is not particularly respected, in which its importance is actively denied. We are living in an age in which there's another alternative to the truth, and that's bullshit. The reason why there's so much bullshit, I think, is that uh, people just talk. If they don't talk, they don't get paid. The advertiser wants to gain sales. The politician wants to gain votes. Now, that's okay, but they have to talk about things that they don't really know much about. So since they don't have anything really valid to say, they just say whatever they think will interest the audience or make it appear that they know what they're talking about. And what comes out is bullshit. The bullshit is more creative. Uh, he's not submissive. Greetings, my friend. It's not important to him what the world really is like. What's important to him is how he would like to represent himself. He takes a more adventurous and inventive attitude towards reality, which may be sometimes very colorful and sometimes uh, amusing. Sometimes it might produce uh, uh, results that are uh, enjoyable, but it's also very dangerous. This country is in big trouble. We don't win anymore. Lions attempt to conceal the truth by substituting something for the truth that isn't true. Bullshit is not a matter of trying to conceal the truth. It's a matter of trying to manipulate the listener. And if the truth will do, then that's fine. Uh, and if the truth won't do, then that's also fine. So the bullshitter is indifferent to the truth in a way in which the liar is not. He's playing in a different game. Another reason why I think uh, bullshit is a more insidious opponent or a threat to the truth is that it's, it's less identifiable. I mean, the lie makes a specific move and it can be uncovered or revealed. Bullshit is vague, it doesn't, you can't put your finger on it. What's wrong with it? What is going on? Why is it objectionable? Politicians lie and bullshit constantly. When they're caught in a lie, there's a great commotion. There's no corresponding response to bullshit. There's no, no finding it out. There's no uncovering it. Insofar as bullshit is accepted, insofar as it's regarded as normal, I think it tends to undermine the respect for truth. It has become the norm to a considerable extent in my country at any rate. There's something like 99.8% of the qualified scientists in the world tell us that we're having a serious effect on the climate. That's an established scientific fact. I don't think there can be any question about it. Because climate change is not science, it's religion. But a lot of politicians deny it. They just say it's not true, it, it's lies. It's uh, an attempt on the part of tree huggers to uh, prevent economic development. Uh, it's just bullshit. It comes close to being a lie. But I think a lot of politicians don't know enough about the science to know that it is a lie. They just assume that it must be a lie because it doesn't fit into their political or economic agenda. The assertion uh, that something has been established scientifically no longer carries the same weight that it used to carry. So that's the danger that there will be um, a loss of concern for the truth. And that I think is an insidious assault on one of the fundamental principles of society. If you have the truth, you know what reality is like. If you don't, you're ignorant of reality. And I don't know whether it's important to explain why reality is important. We live in the real world. Uh, we depend upon it. We need it. Uh, we need to know about it. We need to be able to find our way around in it. And if we don't have the truth, then we can't do those things. We don't really need bullshit. In fact, bullshit I find very offensive. It, uh, it's insulting. It is offered to me as though it were an attempt to convey the truth, but it's, it's not. It's a substitute for the truth. And I don't want substitutes. I want the real thing, as I think all of us should. All of us must. And that's why we should be on our guard against it and resist it and reject it wherever we find it. I think a world without bullshit would be more interesting. 
it would uh, be a world in which we would lack the uh, creative flair of the bullshitter, but in which we would have the, the fascination and the wonderment of reality. And in that way, I think the world would be much better off. Thank you.